has a real feel of late summer about it, of late, but things could be changing in the week ahead. Could autumn be about to arrive? So after a dry and sunny start to the week for many, not for all, there'll still be some showers around. We could be ending the week for some seeing gales and a big drop in temperature. And it all come courtesy of a uh, strengthening jet stream to the north of the Atlantic. And it's in this dip in the jet stream between us and Iceland. We'll see a potent air of low pressure push its way eastwards pushing in some bands of weakening rain, but also some strengthening winds and a drop in temperature for many areas. That's a few days away, out there to end today. Fine day for most, although we do have some heavy and thundery rain across the eastern counties of England. That will only slowly turn a little bit lighter through the night, still sitting in place. Cloud approaches into western Scotland and Northern Ireland too, but in between with some clear skies, a few mist and fog patches and a colder night than recent nights. Temperatures in uh, rural areas down into single figures as we start tomorrow morning. Not so across East Anglia and South East. The weather front there means um, temperatures in the mid-teens to begin the day. And it's that weather front which will sit in place through much of Monday, bringing outbreaks of rain or drizzle. Some more weather fronts pushing away into western Scotland and Northern Ireland through the day, threatening some rain or drizzle at times. But in between, a shrinking but still sizeable area of sunshine across much of England, Wales and eastern Scotland. Many will stay dry and sunny. And for some of you, actually feeling a little bit warmer than today. Temperatures up a degree or so in most parts. Then through Monday night, uh, weather front is on the move. It's just a zone of cloud, patchy light rain or drizzle. Here it is in the weather chart, pushing its way into an area of high pressure. High pressure basically kills off weather systems by and large. It'll just be a zone of cloud, misty low cloud, the odd spot of light rain or drizzle through Wales, the Midlands to begin with on Tuesday. Either side of it, some sunshine. Many will stick dry with some sunny spells through the day. But once again, parts of Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, a fairly weak weather front to push its way in, producing some rain or drizzle in the west. Most of dry and still pleasantly warm where you've got that sunshine. Then through uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday, a bit of a split in proceedings. High pressure to the south, deep and potent low pressures to the east of Iceland, not having a direct impact, but throwing this weather front band of heavy rain to begin with across Scotland, Northern Ireland, turning lighter and patchy as it goes. So we could see gale force winds across the north and the west. A breezier day for England and Wales. Most will stay dry, though, for the autumn equinox in England and Wales. And once again, warm in the sunshine before we see that drop in temperature into Thursday. Bye for now.